I don't think the Night Retreat variants are very good. I tested them uh, quite a bit when the card first got spoiled, and then just none of them did, did very much. So the fact that he dispelled kind of makes me wish I would have played the path on his turn, but, you know. Fetch. It's not just the SCG circuit. I mean, I did, this year I've been making quite a bit off the circuit, but um, it's it's the circuit. It's um, it's producing content. Like all all of, everything like adds up to being like an okay amount. Uh, my wife does have a full-time, what you would call, adult job. She is a business analyst for State Department Insurance, so. <laughs> well, if he's unlucky and then also doesn't have another, also doesn't have a second counterspell, uh, if his Delbridge don't flip, we can technically court for Pontiff next turn. Ah, rats. He flipped Spell Snare, all right. Good thing we drew a two-drop last turn. Dead in three here. Correct. Del I mean, Delver's okay in modern. Like, Grixis Delver's been, been putting up uh, okay numbers on... Uh, if they're okay at the PT. So we can court for a three here. That really doesn't do anything, does it? Need, like, one more to be able to court for anything. Now, how did our opponent sequence poorly? He hasn't really, he hasn't really done much of anything. might bring in one of the dismembers for the last game. I wasn't 100% he was on Delver, but he definitely is. We're probably just dead. Like, scale of 1 to just dead. Definitely. Alright. Still have to float mana, because this is still bugged. I mean, we're probably dead anyways, but we're going we're gonna to try. Sure, Austin. I guess I could draw Lightning Helix here, and he could not have another counter spell. That's uh, that's out. Because all of the options were bad, and uh, he's definitely got something to interact with there, and well, the odds of him like not having a shock are really low. No, I put in the helixes. I said I didn't put in the dismembers. And I think one dismember is probably fine. That game was a good example of why I trimmed down cords, because getting dispelled on your cord feels like super miserable. Uh, I think I'm going to trim Lark in this matchup. He's kind of slow. We just like want less clunk in the deck. Seems pretty reasonable. I gotta fetch. I guess I don't have to fetch shotgun one. I can just go birds, birds basic or basic birds. Even if he interacts with our, if he kills our bird, we play voice on two. If he doesn't kill the bird, I think we play witness and rebuy pat, uh, rebuy the fetch land. Yeah, I cut the mirror, the mirror superior, and it was uh, it was not not very great. Birthing pot is not viable in legacy. Don't don't try and color outside of the lines in Legacy. You'll end up being very sad for the most part. The, the decks that are good in Legacy are very, very good, and you should just like play one of the decks that are considered good. They're a lot more powerful than any of the other options. Uh, opponents in the tank. Opponent Mulligan to six. Opponent Scrying, kept to six. Two removal spells in this hand. 
The question is how much damage I want to deal to myself with this wooded foothills. Like ideally we want to just hit a white source so that way we don't do three plus four to ourselves. I definitely don't like boarding in both those members in this matchup. Yeah man. He's gonna probe. If he plays Delver and passes, we're gonna fetch fetch probably Temple Garden, dismember his guy, uh, play voice. Basic Island Pass. I think Basic Island Pass means uh, he showed us he has Spell Snare in his deck, so I don't just want to run Voice into Spell Snare. So I'm going to go ahead and fetch a Basic Mountain for now. So we take a minimal amount of damage and then play out this Eternal Witness that he can't interact with with just Island. This could just be like Thought Scour at end step, but uh, there aren't Delve cards in his color, so I'd be kind of surprised if he's playing Thought Scour. Probably a lot of it, Dredge. Like, that deck was, was good because people didn't understand what was going on. Like, and it was good because, like, so, like, the decks like the, the Lum deck that I played and, like, even the, the Lance deck now, it's just, like, it, it's actually kind of funny. It's similar to the Eldrazi decks. Like, the, the hands you have where you have Mox Diamond where you just, like, make two mana on turn one like you're not supposed to be able to in Magic, like, are just so much better than the ones where you can't do that. So again, just being very patient here, uh, we have a clock on the table, we're developing our, our mana, um, he needs to put a threat onto the table. Yeah, Devastating Dreams is a very fun magic card. Fun for me, at least. So this turn, we can technically play voice through a mana leak. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play... I should, I should have attacked first to see what he did before I played the Snapping Ground, actually. I'm just going to keep shipping for two here. Chip and a chair. We've got a bunch of removal spells in our hands, so we can like kind of play a crappy control deck this game. Uh, we're flooding out now a little bit, so I kind of wish I had an Eternal Witness to fetch land, but at the time we didn't have more land, so I think it was fine. Shocked himself. That's good for us. He knows we have all these removal spells on our hand. So uh, I am going to just go ahead and path his Delver at the end step here. Because I don't want to dismember it and get remanded. Because that sounds, that sounds super miserable. I guess we can technically dismember and pay with the bird. Huh. I guess we have three red with this. So this is probably actually going to fetch Overgrown Tomb. So we can pay full, full retail for the dismember and not have to pay life. Cast Path Exile. Targeting your idiots. Dude's idiot down. And he shocked himself. I'm not quite sure why he shocked himself. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play this for now. Uh, this weekend's modern open. This weekend's open is modern. That is correct. So again, just not playing spells because like that turn, he even shocked himself. So like he's just not getting to use his mana either and we're the ones with pressure on the table, not him. So he's, we got him on a slow clock, but it's still a clock. And the fact that we haven't drawn another spell means just like I, I want to value like making sure that these spells are resolved in the most the most way efficient way possible. So at bottom top with that first vision, is casting another. So you got at least one card he likes. Yeah, these visions, those visions are so ugly. Really much prefer the the original ones. Uh, I am playing the open this weekend. Louisville is only uh, four and a half hours from my house, which is a close open for me. I'd be very surprised if my opponent's Delver Secret Dex has uh, Anger of the Gods on it. 
I'm gonna fetch Overgrown Doom with this, and we could get punished if, like, at some point he kills the bird, but I feel like if he would have killed the bird, he probably would have killed it by now. Gonna keep chipping away here. So I'm gonna jam uh, this wall of roots in, and then uh, if he spell snares it, I'm gonna jam the voice. And he might just like let it resolve, which is which is also fine. If he if he lets this resolve, I'm just passing the turn. If he interacts with this at all, we're probably jamming the voice. But yeah, so he just lets it resolve, so we're gonna ship the turn. Yeah, man, just find me. I usually have a marker on me. Electrolyze here is like the card we're hoping to dodge. Uh, it's a little bit expensive for Delver, but he is just playing blue red, so I wouldn't be surprised if he has access to like two to three Electrolyze in his 75. If he has them in his 75, he's definitely bringing them in this matchup. Back to you. Darn children's music. Got 300 people hanging out. That's pretty awesome. Thanks for hanging out today, everyone. Uh, we're going to be playing some modern here. We are Hawkins. We are. I'm not. I'm not caving. I'm gonna stick to my stick to my uh, poorly equipped guns. And you're something. Lava Man's not bad. I'm gonna dismember this. Paying full retail. We can pay for a mana leak via Wall of Roots. Uh, yeah, worship wasn't very impressive against the Eldrazi decks. They just, like, they're splashing for different things. Like, the white deck has splashes that can beat it. The the green-red version can beat it. Like, just all these all these things that just don't line up well. So I'm going to go ahead and sack this. Get another card. Hey, that's a pretty good one. So Resto's great because it lets us uh, interact on his turn. I'm pretty confident he's got spell snare, so I'm just like that's why I'm just not playing the voice. And like plus like it's like I've been saying, like we're just like we're chipping away with this this eternal witness, so Dismember the Eternal Witness. Let's play Resto. I'm not playing a dry diver. Uh, I think Kiki Court is just a good deck. I don't think the particular format that you're playing it in is very relevant. I'm floating mana with this just in case I can't make mana with it when we go to pay for the mana leak. Because I'm assuming that's just how this works. And I don't want to lose this game to a moto bug. Oh god, if this resolves, pff, this game's over. He could even have a bolt here. If, I think if he had a bolt, he would have just used it. Yeah, just like super over. Uh, I think I just want to get like another path here. Yeah, I just like want to make sure I can kill all of his things. How did I, how did we misplay on my part? No, you, we shouldn't play voice pre-combat because if you've been listening, I'm fairly confident the way he's played this game and sequenced everything that he has spell snare in his hand. So I want to play the voice when we have a chance to play around the spell snare. Uh, what, what, what mistake did we make? Feel free to point out a possible mistake, but uh, I think I played that turn just fine. You're welcome to say we made a mistake, but you need to actually point out what that mistake is so we can talk about it. Like, that was we, that, that sequence was great, and that was fine. Yeah, exactly. Like, if he has spell snare there, we can't play Angel through through Mana Leak, and then just like we lose the game that turn by playing the voice pre-combat. No, not frustrated. It's cool. I just like, uh, I like, I don't like calling people out. Get wrecked.
you it is plenty possible to make mistakes while you are winning